Our journey of over 1,500 kilometers began in Le puy en velay in France. Over the next two months, we're walking the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. We've walked many of the Camino routes in Spain, but this is our first time walking the Via Podiensis. It's also called the Chamon de Puy and the GR65. We are excited to experience the beautiful villages along this historical route. I'm Sean. And I'm Lainey. And this is Days We Spend. We started by taking a train from Lyon to the Valley of Le Puy, beginning the trip as a group of five. Meet Hans and Laura, our Swedish friends, getting married in Santiago de Compostela at the end of this journey. They met on the Camino six years ago. We're also joined by their Swedish friend, Klaus. It's his first Camino, and he's walking with us for the first six dates. On day zero, we're exploring the historical and beautiful city of Le Puy and its iconic volcanic landscape. En Valais, about to start the Via Podientes. <laughs> Tomorrow we begin our walk. Today is just a good day to explore all the beautiful sights in Le Puy. It's really cool. is eating food. Slow down, please. You look crazy and gross. <laughs> Good morning, pilgrims. It's day one of Via Podiensis from Le puy en -Valais, and we are going to church, which is this big building right behind me. <laughs> They're going to do the Pilgrim Blessing, Pilgrim Mass, and then open the doors, and we all leave the same time to start our walk for our pilgrimage. Here comes Sean. We're leaving our uh, gîtes or the Accueil de Saint-Georges. I'm terrible at French. I apologize now. <laughs> Taking our first steps on the Puy from the church down the stairs. So iconic. The Pilgrim Mass was very much worth going to. Wake up for it, get blessed, and then you're on your way.
Day one's been a pretty good day. We've been walking through nothing but adorable little villages and country lanes and these woody paths. The last couple kilometers though have been a little bit more tough terrain wise, just a lot more rocks in the road. And since we're tired, it's like, oh, bag feels pretty heavy today. So this is day one and I think I overdid it on the snacks and I've got like soap for two months with me. <laughs> we're almost to our destination and it'll be a really nice night at our first jeet. Oh, snake. Serpent. Little guy. I think it's a culebre. It's not a dangerous one. Okay. But the natural. <laughs> Better to be safe. Granny, <laughs> 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 you want to eat my face again? Had to interrupt dinner for the sunset show. Oh, uh, what a grand place! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get back in there, man! Hans, Hans dances with me. Yeah! Hans, 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 Good morning from day two on the Via Podiensis. We are in Rochegood. I think we're walking about 23 kilometers today. A little shorter day. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> uh, we're going to La Claus. Via Podiensis is a little bit different. And this first section from Le Puy to Conc is very popular among French families and um, holiday tourism. So we made reservations for our first nine days, which is very different for us. So we know exactly where we're going and how far we're going. So let's go. Lady's up front clearing all the spider webs for me. So we're going down that steep hill to the river. Then we go up a steep hill out of the river. And then it's pretty chill today. <laughs> On y va. We're on a bridge. Woo! <laughs> My shirt's inside out, but I realized that now at 10 a.m. because I got dressed in the dark. <laughs> Had a girl. <laughs> Ah, ah. Oh, 
So we're about two and a half kilometers out from Sog, and it's feeling hot. 12.30, we're gonna take a nice long break in Sog before continuing to our beats tonight. Sheep. We're walking into Saug. Had to stop and be very thirsty in front of this awesome candelabra. Hopefully we get a beer, maybe some food. Let's keep going. Violet drinks like candy. Be good. Just a casual 13th century tower behind me. <laughs> Going in the church, looking for a stamp. Follow the paw prints. Heading out of Sog, and it is a little touristy, but in the cutest way ever. I mean, that museum just, we really had to get creative in our interpretation of their lack of French. <laughs> It's really hot and we've just been walking on a road in the sun. But we dipped our buffs and now it's better. Yeah, much oh, better. What a day. 23 kilometers sometimes can feel so long. We just took this long break in the middle and it's day two, so everything is, we're still getting used to walking a lot. This Gide is in the middle of nowhere, but it's gorgeous. So we're gonna drink beer, we did our laundry, and we're gonna have our little communal dinner. Good morning on day three. It is 8 10 in the morning in August. We're going 24 kilometers today from La Claus, famous for this tower. <laughs> We're both feeling pretty good for day three. Not too sore. My feet feel pretty good. Could just because it's early morning and it's still really cool out, but it's so beautiful out here. This quiet country road with a shoulder for us to walk on. Oh, big difference from yesterday afternoon's sunny hot <laughs> slog where I ran out of energy. <laughs> I think we feel stronger because we got attacked by the wolf and now we've got wolf energy. <laughs> we've got wolf energy from the beast of Jevodan. And <laughs> we also had a really good breakfast with yogurt, so. <laughs> had some really steep sections but it's been pretty much in the shade which is lovely and in this forest and we saw some of the Albrecht cattle. Hopefully we're done with the climb of today as we 
descend to Domaine de Sauvage for lunch. So that's a famous place to stop for lunch or just to stay the night. It was full when we did our bookings and, you know, it would have been cool to stay in the really historical building. It is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and we have so much food with us, we don't need to buy anything at their grocer. They've got a lot of options if you need to eat. Hard boiled egg and butter sandwich. Cuisine. The cuisine is... Cuisine du Albrock. <laughs> it's a it's a pas de gourmand. So we had a nice little picnic, uh, really close to this chapel of Saint Rock, Saint Roche, depending which language you want to say his name in. It's closed, so we can't go in, but we can kind of peek through the window. Got about I think ten more kilometers to go today, and uh, the sun's coming out in strong heat, so <laughs> it's hot now. <laughs> Getting there. a hot spot on my toe. Kind of thought it was on and off all day. I was thinking I felt it, but this last bit of downhill, I was like, whoa, that's definitely getting like a sharp hot spot pain. So stop what you're doing, even if you don't want to stop. Put some lamb's wool on it or something so you don't get a blister. Prevention, always. In town, we're gonna go get something cold to drink because we are pretty early to the Jeet. We got in at like 3.15 p.m., which is real nice. Good change of pace that we could have time to do laundry and just get some stuff done we wanna get done. <laughs> <laughs> French is so bad, so please pardon my French. We left <laughs> Rochica and we're going to Montreal de Albier. Where? Is where we're going downhill too. 